Hi guys, you all know me as Light Geo Duck on the forums, and um, today I want to do one uh, review that I don't commonly do is uh, liquid reviews, and um, I'll be doing a review of a few flavors that I, that I received from Rob at uh, VaporCounty.com. I did receive it for free. He was offering up some samples for people to test out some flavors and give out a re video review and um, I offered to pay for it but he opted not to but uh, I'm still going to give an honest review a um, few things that I want to tell you a little bit I'm not going to spend my time sniffing the bottle and uh, you know tasting it up and telling you and going through every single bottle because uh, for all you know I could be doing nail polish if you guys wouldn't know but um, but I will show you how it vapes because I mean that is important because you could actually see if it was at least mixed right I'll tell you a little bit about at least my subjective view of the flavors okay so I'll first tell you a little bit about what I'm doing Okay, he actually has this line called Totally Green. In these little bottles. And um says that they were made in Europe, mixed in Europe, and uh the mix is 80% PG and 20% VG. So it's not a pure PG and obviously not a pure VG. And it is pretty liquidy, but it does have some viscosity, I guess that would be, the, some thickness to it. The flavors I'll be doing, uh, talking about is, uh, excuse me, Raisin Rum. All these are 18 milligram. Um, I'll say it again, Raisin Rum. Cola. Tobacco and burly tobacco. Alright, let me just put one of these in. I did try all these in different atomizers, you know, or cleaned out the atomizer to vape it a while so I had just the flavor itself. So right now I'm using my current just to show this is a 901 low resistance. 3.7 volts, you know, and this is this partial. So let's do a little bit of vaping, I guess. I want to pick the, what was I currently using? I'll pick this one. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. They all vape the same. The mixture is pretty good. I want to talk a little bit about the similarities of all, all the basic juices, and then I'll talk individually about the flavors. I hope I'm moving around a lot. Like I don't know where I'm going. Anyway, let's make this professional. So let me take a hit. And granted, take it, keep in mind, this is on a low resistance. So sort of simulating high voltage. And it's a 901. So it does vape. It does vape. And, um, and one thing I noticed out about all the flavors, and you'll know that it's also the 901 itself does that. It, it tends to bring out more flavor, unlike the 510, which is a harder, harder hit and, um, and one of the most popular. Addies, but I'm choosing this because that's what I'm just choosing. I'm trying to get the flavor out of it. And even in low resistance, even on low resistance, it's not sacrificing any of the flavor that it has because I did try it on others, other atomizers, like I said. But anywho, one thing I've noticed about all these flavors, it's a very, very soft flavor. It's not a powerful 
flavor that you might, if you try various made juices, that it doesn't overpower. I mean, it's very soft. I mean, it's it's hint, hinting at the flavor. And then I, I, I really wouldn't want to say it's weak. Weak's a bad term. I mean, if you've had some juices that is weak, it's like you're almost vapor. It's not like you're vaping flavorless. And, um, but the one thing I do like about it, and I don't know what it is, it's sort of like the aftertaste. Like when you vape it, sort of like the way, it, I'm not getting juice on my lips, but the way it feels, tastes on, get on the tip of your tongue, and it's rather pleasant. I would have to say that that's pleasant. It's a pleasant residual flavor if you would will so I like that I would have to say I like that and